Hi guys, Isaac here back with Elias and Whip Company and I got a new variation of how to tie a 5x4 Turk's Head Knot today. This is a variation I picked up a little while back and it's been what I've been using to tie all my 5x4s before I expand them into a 7x6 or whatever I want to do for my transition or heel knot. So let me switch the camera up and we'll get into the tutorial. So we got our paracord all cut to length. This is about a five foot um, hank of paracord. And this is an easy way to tie it to really understand and see what you're doing a little bit more. It lets you see a front side and a back side to the knot. And it really helped me remember how to tie these. So um, we'll take our strand, hold it with our thumb, and then we're gonna use three fingers and our pinky kind of to hold. But we're gonna go around the back over the front, cross our standing end, back around the back, and we're gonna go parallel. So here's our here's our line. Go parallel across with that other one. We're gonna come back up. We're gonna go under this this one, which is from our our standing end. So we're gonna go under right there. Pull that through, tighten up, and that's what you should look like. And you want to make sure it stays on the underside of this line here. We're going to flip our hand over, and on the back side, the rule to remember is it always goes on top of the leftmost strand, so we're always going to go over this one. And since we already went under this one, all we have to do is go over this one. So we'll go over it there, back to the front. Now we're gonna make our parallels pass. So we're gonna go up and follow our standing end or our starting end. So we come up through here, just like that. Just this a little bit. And we're gonna go and it goes, and like I said, we're following it. So it goes over, we're gonna go over. So over there. And now we have three lines here. So here's our working end. And we got one, two, three lines. And we wanna go over that one for the rule. So we're going over this one, under this one, over this one. So we'll go under here. Pull that through, just like that. Make sure it goes over to the left. I got my wedding ring. I love my wife, so I can always use that to uh, kind of keep place. Come back to the front. Now we're doing our last pass, and this will be our offset pass. So we have these two parallel lines here, and one that's kind of hiding, hiding in between. We're gonna go under that one. We're gonna go over this one, under this one. So we're doing an opposite weave to the two we just did. And remember to keep that over the left most. We'll tighten that down. Okay, over the top, over this last piece. Square everything up. So this is what you should be seeing. Here's our last pass. And then we're gonna go right next to that and we're gonna go over the last one according according to our, our little rule. So if we're going over that one, it means we're going under, over, under. And that's opposite of this one. So that'll that works with the knot. It looks like it makes it into a weave. So we're going under, over, under over. Okay, so, and there we go. Farthest to the left, we're going over that one, back around to the front. Sorry about that. And that is your completed Turk's head. 5x4 as soon as you pass back up 
right next to the standing end or to our starting end. And from there, what I like to do is I'll take one finger out, I'll hold this with my thumb, and then I'll just start pulling everything kind of tight, depending on how big your foundation is on your whip that you have to get this on. But this works a lot. For me, I like to use this a lot more for my transition knots. And it always seems to be easier to tie them on my hand before I put them on my whip. So there's our Turk's head. We can slide it off our hand and we it looks fully complete there. And then I just got my lighter here. You can tie that on there or put it on there, tighten everything back down and you will be set to expand it if you want or just do a couple more passes and make it into a three pass indie knot, whatever you want to do. Well guys, that's the end of our how to tie a 5x4 Turk's head on your hand uh, method for today. I um, hope you guys enjoyed. We are giving a whip away again at 100 subscribers, so uh, hit, hit the subscribe button to enter yourself in that drawing. Like the video, it helps the channel out, and comment below if you have any questions that you'd want me to want me to answer or what you get. Just tell me what you think of the video. Um, I'll see you guys next Wednesday. We're going to start doing a weekly up upload, so I um, hope you guys enjoy the consistency. I'll see you guys next Wednesday. Have a good one.